Hi guys, it's Saturday, we are back from our holidays, uh, it's half past six in the morning and I am in front of eBay office, we've got plenty of, to, uh, of work to do, but first I honestly need my coffee. Uh, what has happened already, we came back yesterday evening, so I've, done, I've picked my orders evening time, I've done them, made them ready for this morning. Couldn't get out of bed. Uh, I wanted to wake up at five, but I couldn't get out of bed. So, yeah, I got out of bed about ten past six, I would say. And I took my uh, Royal Mail uh, parcels already because there is it's uh, on Saturdays. There is seven a.m. collection, so I want them to be on the road uh, at seven a.m. So yeah. So they are done, uh, now it's just uh, Hermes, but I'm waiting for the parcel shop to be opened, I'll go there about 8-ish, uh, just to make, you know, the time um, so they can go on today collection as well, which is about 11 I would say, 12 maybe. And I've got one more parcel, Royal Mail parcel, parcel I have to go to pa uh, post office because it was big uh, and it's going to Scotland, uh, Scottish Highlands, so yeah, I couldn't send it via Hermes because they wanted like 5 quid, uh, even more than that, so it has to go via Royal Mail, right guys? I'm gonna see you inside. So I'm gonna have my coffee, but while, because I don't like to waste my time, while I'm having my coffee, I'm gonna do my uh, poly mailers. So like I shown you last time, I just uh, cut them with scissors, uh, rip them off. Put it, uh, put it on the on the polymailer. Fold the polymailer like that, and get to another one. Uh, goes slow because I'm filming it, but when I'm not filming it, it goes quite fast. And again, fold it like that, and another one, another one, another one until this is done then i put myself another another slip and do the same uh, it will take me probably around 20 minutes just about what i need to drink my coffee so i've done them having my coffee uh, these are the uh, polymailer poly mailers that i ordered on ebay using my voucher and I like to have two colors, these are the ones that I buy separately, these are from eBay. I like to have two separate colors because I use these for Royal Mail, these for Courier, if I can, basically. If I run out of any of the color, I use the other one, basically. Uh, that helps me when I pack my orders, uh, I mean when I slap my labels on the poly mailers, because I know that Royal Mail labels, I have to look for green, uh, it safe, saves a bit of time, not much, but still a bit. And these are the boxes that I was telling you about, that I had on my loft, I got them from eBay for free, and basically this is how it looks like, up to four cassettes will go in them, I think these are... Uh, these are DVD boxes, DVD fits in here, so I've got all the cassettes that were li lying here on the table pre-packed in this, I still need to add, I still need to photograph them and add some void fill and hopefully they will arrive safely. So guys I'm gonna tackle those uh, audio books and audio cassettes for about an hour or maybe three quarters of an hour until they open the uh, post office so I can send out those that 
uh, one parcel that has to go via post office and I'm gonna drop my uh, parcels to parcel shop as well and I'm gonna come back here to finish off those uh, uh, those audio cassettes so what I basically do is I'm taking one box spreading spreading the cassettes on the table there we go I'm taking the pictures putting them here uh, fill it up with a void fill weight it on that scale and it's good to go and I jump to another one so guys parcels are done these guys are going super slow I'm running low on uh, void fill but I was lucky I got some void fill on in the post office actually it was lying around there and I asked if I can take that white paper he said yeah yeah take it so I've got some void fill uh, I also brought some returns from the car these are returns that I have accumulated during the time that I was in Poland uh, recently so I need to do them because I want to put them live I have to repack them basically and I want to put them live today, this evening so hopefully I will tackle this and I think I'm gonna do that first and then if I have some more time I'll jump uh, to do some more of those bloody audiobooks and audio cassettes they are going super 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 slow uh, yeah i've got these guys ready here so i'm gonna pack those returns into these guys and i'm gonna put them to the box to the storage boxes so the bag of returns is sorted uh, i'm gonna put them live today i'm gonna i'm gonna put them back to the storage boxes where they belong uh, what's next? I don't know. Either that carry on that uh, this basically, or I will find something else. But I think I'm gonna carry on this. So these are done, guys. I've done them all. I'm happy to do to to see them being done because it was bloody chore never again i love my clothing it's so much easier it's so much easier these have bulged a bit so they won't go as a large letter i'll have to send them uh, via hermes postable or post postable postable i don't know uh, anyway it's a uh, large letter is two and a half centimeters here 25 mils and the uh, possible by Hermes is 30 mils so three centi centimeters so yeah it gives you that five mils extra uh, yeah so they will go as a uh, Hermes possible yeah I have to now take them to the storage area uh, but I'm not going to do that today because I have to go home so yeah I'll see you tomorrow hello guys it's Sunday 20 past 6 I believe uh, yeah we came to work uh, yeah and we're gonna work till about noon I think so we've got around six hours to do uh, yeah not much to say really uh, besides the fact that I'm working on Sunday that's stupid so guys I've dug up some uh, a box of shoes I mean really two boxes of shoes uh, and some ladies handbags the main problem is I don't have many boxes to pack them into so what have we got here these are river islands i think 
Uh, I had them online before. They were they have been returned, but for some reason I haven't relisted them. So I have to redo the photos because I've lost the listing entirely. These are Carvela. These are Marco Belli or something like that. Or Marco Deli. Yeah, Marco Deli. Never heard about them before. These are like kind of wood branded one. Uh, these gladiator sandals, these are uh, new looks. These Bali, never heard about the brand before. These are seven and a half, so quite uh, on the biggish side. Uh, these are new looks. Uh, these are no, no brand whatsoever. There is only like a, a size over here. There we go, 37. But that's it. Uh, these are River Islands as well. Uh, these are Topshop. These sandals. Uh, it's a shame. A lot of them is a summer shoe. Uh, uh, is a sh summer uh, wear. Uh, summer is going to an end, so I'll probably have to wait till next year to sell them. And these are Primark ballerinas, and these are Primarks as well. These are white feet actually. Let me show you a second batch. So these are hotters, a bit scruffy on the on the toe. These are lilies. The, this this one says love label. I never heard about them before. That's next. That's MS white feet. These boots, it's only it only says country track or something like that inside of them country something uh, these were uh, call it spring or something like that never heard about them before these are german made vintage uh, mules i'm gonna list them anyway because they like look they look like a, a piece of a good quality made in germany so I'll try high on them, I'll, I'll list them for 20 quid, honestly. Obviously, I'll, I'm going to do my research, if that brand pops up, I will know something more about them. These are Vandals, so they will sell quickly. And these only says Pools over here, never heard about them before. And New Look, Ballerinas, and Jane Shilton Hills. And let me show you some ladies' bags as well. So I have found uh, 10 boxes and prepared myself 10 pairs. I'm gonna photograph them and I need to pack those boxes. I can't leave it for my wife because they are going to the house, to the loft, because they have already skills on them. So yeah, I'll have to pack them, which I hate. So 10 of them photographed. I've got some bubble wrap cut into sheets already got some void fill it's not ideal but it is what it is i got to work with what i have and hopefully i'll pack them in next half an hour and they will be ready to go so this is how i pack shoes one shoe into bubble wrap another shoe into the newspaper uh, why because uh, bubble wrap costs money and i don't like to put plastic into the environment uh, you know unless i have to uh, that bubble wrap prevents this shoe to touch this shoe even if newspaper for some reason is going to break that shoe will not rub against the other shoe so they will not get damaged into in during the transport some void fill on top of that and they are ready to go and these are packed and ready to go so why have I repeated the skew here? Because I've made a mistake. When you print your skew on the on the shipping label uh, on the printer like Dymo or or Zebra, that's uh, uh, it, pr it. It prints with a heat. So when you tape over that label with a tape that label will go faded will fade fade out and you won't be able to read it so 
instead of putting it here I should put that label here or here and it would be fine but I'm stupid and I put it in the middle because I wanted to be smart so I have to repeat that and now waiting to check if anything goes over 1 kg yeah we are safe with this one Yes, yeah, safe with this one. This one is fine as well. This one is a bit heavy. Yeah, but it's fine as well. Yeah. Yeah, this one will be fine. 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 This one will be fine, but let's double check it. Yeah, it's good. So nothing goes over 2 kg. So small parcel under 1 kg in via Her uh, by Hermes via parcel to go. I think it's now 2 pounds 37 plus watt. So it works out like 280 or something like that. So yeah, fine. Now I'm gonna do, do these. And I'm gonna pack them in some old Jiffy bags and then into the polymailer. Uh, when I will run out of these, I'm gonna use bubble wrap and then into polymailer. And then I'm gonna put the skews on and it should be fine. Yeah, so let's tackle this. And these are done. So I've got all those sandals and flip-flops and stuff like that and ballerinas uh, photographed uh, wrapped into bubble wrap and slide into uh, poly mailer and the skew label is on I'll tell you one thing just invest in scissors because <laughs> you will have to do that and I'm a reseller for years and I do not have scissors I always bring one from home, but I for, have forgotten them today, so I had, had to improvise, and improvisation looks like that. So yeah, not good really, but it's done, and that's the most important thing. So I've got some more boxes, and uh, yeah, we're gonna fit these here, that bag here, these we're gonna put, put into poly mailer, this bag will fit here. This will fit here, and this bag will fit here. Yeah, some bags, more bags, more bags, and those boots. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this now, and hopefully, I'm gonna manage before one o'clock when I have to go home, and I want to do some other things as well. So this is how I photograph the shoes. That's my photo setup here. Uh, I've got the thing ready to put it like that to show how uh, how high is the heel. Uh, yeah, then to the box, wrap it with a, uh, with some stuff, and it's ready to be put on shelf and wait to be sold. So these are done. It wasn't easy because I have to resize every single bloody box except the white one and that is without scissors bloody hell thanks god I had my knife so how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five one two three four five yeah so I've got 29 for today so far and I'm gonna do something else now so I've got those unbranded pourers. I'm gonna photograph five of them as a set. Uh, you know, if you watch my videos, you know that I sell those Smirnov branded pourers as well. These are unbranded. Uh, I ha didn't have them listed so far, so I'm gonna do this now. I'm gonna photograph five of them as a set and I'm gonna pack as many as I can if I'll find some packaging to do it. 
So I've done 80, eight, sorry, 18, I wish I'd done 80. Uh, I've done 18 uh, sets of those pudders. I've got two left, so I don't know. I'm probably gonna use, use them myself, but I don't drink and that's a problem. They will have to go on the uh, olive oil bottle or something. Anyway, 18 of them done. And I'm gonna pack now some more of those Smirnoff Pudders as I have plenty of them still. So I didn't realize it's so late guys. Uh, so I'm gonna leave those Pudders for tomorrow. Uh, how many have I done today? 20, uh, 30, 40, 47, 47 items done today. So yeah a decent day however my plan is to do 100 a day obviously it's not that easy with those non clothing items but hopefully I'm, go I'm gonna catch up uh, while doing clothing which i'm gonna start probably next week maybe not from monday but probably from tuesday definitely maybe from monday actually yeah to do as many of them as i can and then do the rest if i have time anyway thank you very much for watching oh yeah one more thing my guy my younger lad is going to school tomorrow for the first time yeah so i'm gonna go with him so i'm gonna start late tomorrow but still uh, hopefully i'm gonna do some good job uh, packing and photographing more items Thank you very much for watching for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this vlogging kind of videos. Uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. Uh, I'll see you next time. God bless you all and bye bye.